Gambling doesn't discriminate. It goes across all different nationalities, different cultural groups, different socioeconomic classes and sex and genders. We see all different sorts of people. We see families um, directly with family therapy, working on the problem as a whole family rather than just into, with individuals. Up to five to ten people around a person with a gambling issue are affected by the gambling. Sometimes the family can resolve it themselves and sometimes in trying to resolve it or trying to deal with it, things get stuck um, and even can become worse and that's when families need some professional outside help. So we find it's more important that we support the relationships within the family longer term because we're transitory in people's lives, practitioners. So we want to have a look at how the problem might be sustained or maintained in the family and then what, what individuals and what the family can do to change that dynamic. And often families are really exhausted and they're, they're trying their best to help but sometimes what they're doing is actually not that helpful for themselves or for the person with the issue. So yeah, we want to really support change that's going to be able to be sustained and so that's why it's important that it gets taken outside of the room and we work with those significant others as well. A lot of gambling help services are developing greater and greater capacity to see uh, couples and families. I think it's really important that families and friends realise that there's help available for themselves and that the effects on them are really profound and important and they deserve access to services in their own right, as well as to support the person with a gambling issue into treatment or to help them stay in treatment. There is a lot of help available for families and friends and getting some information around the problem and what does help and what doesn't help. Not everyone needs therapy necessarily, but some, inf some information, basic information around gambling and what sort of resources that they can draw on can be really helpful. So family and friends of people with gambling problems can ring the helpline, Gambler's Helpline, directly, or they can access the Gambler's Help website. So that's gamblershelp.com.au.